you the fishness if there's loss of blood then an, a hormone like angiotensin 2 acts on the smooth muscle reduces the diameter of the blood vessels and helps to maintain the blood pressure uh, then there's another very important hormone that plays a role is arginine and vasopressin i mean its name is vasopressin because it also uh, increases the blood pressure and that also happens when there's loss of blood then uh, there are uh, a range of um, a very interesting agent is uh, nitric oxide uh, which is released by the endothelial cells and uh, so if there is for any reason if there is a uh, increase in blood pressure and if there is a uh, actually if there is a shear stress it means it means there is increase in the in the rate at which the blood is rubbing actually on the wall of the blood vessels the endothelial cells can uh, release a hormone release a gaseous uh, gaseous uh, signaling agent which we call as nitric oxide that nitric oxide can simply diffuse from the endothelial cells into the outer layers where there are this where the you will have the smooth muscles it will um, it will trigger uh, it will trigger a cascade of biochemical events uh, ultimately resulting in reducing the calcium ions and generate relaxation in the blood vessels so this is locally acting but extremely powerful agent in uh, inducing vasodilation then you have uh, different uh, local agents like adenosine carbon dioxide co2 uh, h plus ions uh, these are these molecules also in any in any area of the blood is flowing and if the cells their experience experience that the oxygen supply is not enough then those cells can directly release uh, uh, these local signaling agents like adenosine and they'll act uh, they will just diffuse in the local area they will act on the smooth muscles of the blood vessels they'll relax the smooth muscles and they're both thereby increasing the blood vessels so that now suddenly you will have far more capillaries uh, which are now draining the blood uh, through that uh, through that tissue so that the tissue gets uh, more supply of blood and therefore more supply of oxygen so there there so 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 the so the point here is that the blood supply there are there are there are different levels at which the um, the uh, diameter of the different blood vessels is being regulated it is essentially being regulated by the smooth muscle which are located in the tunica media and uh, so there is uh, there is control from sympathetic parasympathetic each of course has different the parasympathetic nervous system in some the sympathetic nervous system in some uh, acting via one set of receptors will uh, will uh, in, uh, will uh, will relax the blood vessels so that more can flow with um, uh, via acting via different receptors it can constrict so there are different uh, different control systems uh, this is with reference then there are hormones then there are local signaling agents and uh, there are all all these ways by which uh, the uh, the the flow of blood to different organs can be regulated. Uh, I invite uh, the participants to ask the questions. I would be happy to address uh, each one of them. I can see Subhashri is here, Ayushi is here, Vignesh is here. Can you please come forth and uh, begin the conversation? Purnima is here. Purnima, if you have any question, you can ask me now. How to get pass? Let's see. How to get pass in human physiology? Great. Chat. Well, let's go to chat. Yeah. This is uh, Vignesh is asking a question. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Okay. How to get pass in human physiology? Uh, the answer to that question is very simple. It's like any other any other examination. I think uh, you need to read the slides, uh, familiarize familiarize yourself with the images, uh, try to understand the message that you get. Um, and uh, try to formulate the answers. Okay. See, so if you just read a couple of times, I'm sure you will get a hang of it. Just, just keep on reading the slides. Keep on reading the slides. And once you are good with the slides, then it's also a good idea to... You must not completely depend on the slides. You should also go to the books. There are so many textbooks. Uh, like uh, Textbook of Physiology by Guyton is there. So many you will get on the... So you will get several... You will find several books online also. So, uh, reading from the books, uh, book also, uh, it helps you to widen your horizon and to um, get insights into the subject. <laughs> who can you, who can see, who can see your messages? Anybody can see, right? Yeah. Yeah, anybody can see. Yeah.
Is anyone else in the chat? Uh, let's see. No, no, you can see all the chats here. So it's... Okay, okay. Question paper pattern. Uh, there will be MCQs. There will be four options. Uh, only one option will be right. Uh, you have to you have to pick up the right right option, and uh, that's it. It's all MCQ. And, uh, labeling the images is there. No. So it's all MCQ questions. There'll be in, in every in every question there'll be four options. You need to pick up the one that you feel is most correct, most appropriate for the statement at the top. Yeah, Purnima has raised a hand. So how can we? Can you? How can you? She needs to talk. Uh, Purnima, can you, yeah, can Purnima, good. Uh, can you can you please ask your question, Purnima? Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, sure. Loud and clear. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, I, I hail from uh, arts background mm -hmm. and uh, I teach also. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to keep myself abreast with um, human physiology since I teach exercise physiology. Mm -hmm. So any specific inputs from your end? And to be very honest, I was attending your lectures on and off, not on that regular intervals, but most of the lectures I have attended, it was a very brainstorming and very thought provoking eye opening for me from hailing from arts background. I understood it with so much of nuances, you the way you have explained. Uh, it was very, uh, very, very kind of you, sir, and very knowledgeable of you. So what are the your inputs, sir, on that very point? Um, uh, first of all, uh, Purnima, I'm, I, I'm... I'm 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 very happy. Really, I'm really happy to know that a students from arts background is interested in this subject. And and you are fully justified for the simple reason that actually this concerns you and me. Okay, each one of us. So when we are studying physiology, we are actually looking into ourselves and try to find out uh, what we really are and who we really are and why do we behave the way we really do. Uh, so so I I think this is a science that that directly connects you with your mind, your body and your working. Therefore, it's very relevant. Therefore, it's not at all, not at all surprising that you are curious to read more about uh, this subject. Uh, but, uh, but now that you come from arts background, uh, I was wondering whether you had any biology at the 12th level because if it's there, it helps. If it's not there, you're still okay, but you, you need to do. So can I ask you a question? Did you have any biology at the 12th level? No, no, sir, not at all, sir. Absolutely, uh, arts background, pure arts background, sir. Okay, no, no, no problem. Still, no problem. Uh, but then, what I I suggest is, uh, you take some very basic books in biology and try to understand uh, uh, what a cell is. Okay. Right. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So, so I are your concepts about what a cell are pretty clear. Uh, you understand uh, what the plasma membrane is made up of. Uh, simple yes, process. Uh, yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, then, then I think you just need to. Um, need to go through the slides and have some uh, elementary or uh, introductory books in physiology and just so, add, and and okay i have a counter, counter question for you is so, any is, is there any particular process in physiology that uh, you find more interesting sir i find my, my particular domain is uh, acute and chronic responses of exercise on human body oh, so exercise good. physiology oh that's very so interesting that is what i, I honestly i teach uh, mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. try to keep myself abreast with the basic things because mm -hmm. up until you don't know the basics, you would not be able to understand and understand about the acute and chronic effects of exercise on the human body while they are performing and whatever the homeostasis changes are occurring. Perfect. Perfect. I fully agree with you. I fully, I, I, that's, 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 a, that's a very good way to approach, uh, approach the science of physiology. Um, okay. Uh, then can I, uh, you see what you need to do is as the, uh, as the you can you can approach it from many ways you can just ask a question as what are the ways in which the uh, the blood supply to the exercising organ how does it increase uh, how do, what are the metabolic changes that happen in an exercising skeletal muscle or uh, uh, or uh, you remember we talked about uh, uh, creatine phosphate you remember that part do you Purnima? yes sir yes sir yes so, sir creatine phosphate atpcp creatine phosphate atpcp sir very good, very good. Oh, you are very good. So, uh, so you you can uh, so you keep on reading about. Then you can also keep on reading about the uh, generation of lactic acid. Uh, how a skeletal muscle may 
if the skeletal muscle does, does not get enough oxygen, then how it switches on to the anaerobic mode of uh, respiration and then uh, uh, it generates lactic acid and then eventually lactic, lactic, it, uh, lactic acid is also broken down. Uh, you can read about what is the muscle fatigue, uh, how does the blood supply to the muscle increase when uh, you remember we talked about uh, uh, there was a phenomena in which we said that uh, the exercising muscle suddenly draws a lot of blood. Okay, you remember sure. that? Yeah, yeah. So just keep on reading, and uh, I'm sure you will uh, you will make progress. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are very welcome. I'm I'm very excited with the with the approach that you have taken to uh, understand physiology in in spite of your uh, background in arts. Thank you so much, Purnima. Uh, thank you, sir. You're right. Okay. Uh, sir, on that we have done. No? No, sir, How many questions will be there? How many questions will be there in uh, practical exam? No. Practical. You can't read, sir. Okay. Oh, in the main exam, fifty. Uh, the, uh, there'll be uh, there'll be there'll be fifty questions, right? Uh, there'll be uh, in the exam there'll be fifty, uh, a total of fifty MCQs. And as I already mentioned, each MCQ will have four options and you need to pick up the right one. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Sir, will be the questions in uh, this picture uh, as given in uh, assignments or uh, usual uh, multiple choice question or objective question? There will be, okay, I got your question. No, no, there will be no images. There will be no pictures. There will be just, just... Uh, uh, they will be like, what is the role of da 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 in da da da? And then you will have four options there. You just have to. So it is typical MCQ, no images, no pictures, no labeling, absolutely nothing. Okay, thank uh, you. Sir, uh, week 10 and week 11 uh, lecture material not, away, not provided. Sir. Can you please provide it? So I have given a uh, feedback also, but. Uh, is it is it no Shiv Kumar? Is it an assignment or it is the lecture? I mean, proper my talk proper. Lecture material, sir. Lecture is not, that's my lecture, but lecture material. Uh, is it is my, it is it the PPT that you are asking? Shiv Kumar? Uh, yes, yes, sir. up to up to nine weeks. Thought. So tenth week and eleventh week we did. Okay, we will we will talk to NPTEL team and let you know. So can you please check that? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Shiv Kumar, we are, we are, now I understand your problem. Your problem is that PowerPoint for ten lecture ten and lecture eleven are not available to you. So I will I will talk to NPTEL headquarters and uh, request them to make the material available to you. Thanks, Shiv Kumar. Thank, Thank you. you. Anything else, Shiv Kumar, you would like to say? Yes, sir. It's very, very useful, sir. Actually, I came from a medicine background only. Okay. So, my PhD purpose only, I took this course. So, uh -huh. it is very useful for us. So, we studied in detail in a graduation level also, but this much of depth we didn't do. So, oh. we have... Okay. So, in general, it is very, very useful for us. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm sure this must be a sort of revision for you because in the medical, you must have studied physiology and anatomy. So, this must yes. be... Yeah, yeah. Now, because we can get many new thoughts to conduct new research. Right, right. Oh, you are, uh, I understand that you are doing PhD. Is that... Uh, you are already PhD, Shiv Kumar, right? The National Institute of Technology, Calicut. Okay. okay. Good, good. Good, good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, good. thanks, Shiv Kumar. Thanks, thanks. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> Hello, D. Swathi, Subhashri, Ayushi. Oh, there's something else. Is that MCQ will be labeling quiz or word wording? It will. It will be. It will be written words. 
and statements there will be no images there will be no labeling images there will be nothing to do with labeling it will be just written words and then written statements and then from there you have to pick up uh, four options which are written there you have to pick up the right uh, right option they are in the word form they are in the word they are in the statement format there will be no images in the questions there will be no labeling exercises sir one more question please yeah sure go ahead uh, sir each question uh, has a two marks or one mark sir 50 questions total each uh, that's a very good question shukumar each question will have two marks yeah okay. thank you sir thank you thank you Uh, do we have to revise through the assignments or watching lecture videos will be enough for scoring well? Uh -huh. I think you have to, I, I believe you need to do both. And not only that, I would, of course, you have to see the slides, you have to run through the talk, but I will also request you to read some, uh, some textbook in physiology. Okay, because uh, to give, a, to get a wider perspective, uh, just lecture may not be adequate. So I, we cover into lots of details, but there are still many things. And for uh, so for your wider uh, wider uh, view of the whole subject, and for deeper insights, I would prefer that uh, you also read some textbook in uh, in in human physiology. There's no negative marking. Right? No, no, there is no negative marking uh, for wrong answer. Sir, total duration of time, sir. Exam. Everything is written on the Impital uh, website. We can go check. Uh, uh, Shukumar, sorry, I'm, I'm, I don't really know, but I'm absolutely sure you can go to the NPTEL website and that information will be there, for, avail easily available to you. Yes, sir. 100 questions, usually 3 hours. Uh -huh. So, only 50 questions. So, is there any change in duration? I, I, sorry, uh, sorry Shukumar, I, I, I do not know the answer. Uh, but okay. yeah, yeah, uh, it's, two it's two marks. It's two marks. So it may still be three hours, but that's my guesswork. I'm not sure, Shiv Kumar, but I believe it will be three hours. But I could be wrong. I mean, I, I don't have I don't have accurate information. Sorry, Shiv Kumar, I don't know. Okay, sir, no problems. Thank you, thank. You. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, please. Please go ahead and ask your question if you have any. Manopriya. Can everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. This can there's a question which says, Can you tell me topic could cover with extra focus, sir? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, what will be ratio for labeling quiz? There is no, please, there is no labeling quiz. There's only written MCQ quiz. And uh, about the, can you tell me the topic should cover with uh, extra focus, sir? Um, as a teacher, it's difficult for me to say that this topic is more important than other topic. Okay, so, um, but I'd still feel that you focus a lot on the cardiovascular system. And of course, the renal system, they are so intricately linked. But you must be, uh, yeah, yeah, try to focus on the cardiovascular system.
हेलो नो देर इज नो निगेटिव मार्किंग फॉर रॉन्ग आंसर हेलो गुड इवनिंग सर यस गो हेड विघ्नेश गुड इवनिंग सर सर आई एम यूथ स्टूडेंट सर आई एम फ्रॉम बायोटेक डिपार्टमेंट बट आई इंटरेस्टेड इन ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी सो आई लर्न दिस कोर्स गुड गुड Uh, but to get a pass criteria, cardiovascular system or renal system is, uh, you said, more important. But how does the question should be answered? If not labeling quiz means, uh, but the assignments uh, throughout consists of only of labeling quizzes. Yes. Yes. But sir. how to study? No. How to study? For uh, okay. No, I'll tell you what. Uh, the assignments are assignments are graded, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. the the assignments will be graded but the mcqs the uh, mcqs that you are uh, you are asked to or you have to attempt they are essentially made framed from the you remember we have the different powerpoints and in the powerpoints we learn from time to time uh, the various the the various intricacies the various uh, uh, details about how the processes operate so see based based on that you will the mcqs will be framed Um, and means uh, uh, an MCQ may may be what is the function of nitric oxide, and then there will be four options, and then you have to pick up the right option. So that okay. then, yeah, please go ahead. Okay, sir. That that like the the MCQ will be available, sir. Sure, sure. And 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 they will all be based. All the MCQs will be essentially based on the powerpoints and the lecture that uh, you sat through. okay sir what are the textbooks uh, that we should uh, refer for this uh, extra oh sure sure uh, you can uh, you can use a very a book that uh, where the medical people very commonly used it's called as textbook of medical physiology by gaiton 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 g u y t o n gaiton okay okay sir thank you sir and and it is available online also you can get a soft copy there legal sure, soft sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are if you just if you just go on the internet, you will find there are many books in addition to Gaitan. Uh, you can you can you can, to begin with any book on introduction to physiology, human physiology, uh, you will find useful. But I strongly recommend that in addition to reading from the PowerPoint slides that we are doing in the course, uh, you must expose yourself to some textbooks. A couple of textbooks is always a good idea. That helps to widen your horizon. Okay, sir. Is that any mathematical MCQs will be there in the no. question paper? No, no, don't worry. There will be no mathematical. Uh, uh, there will be. There may be some question in asking asking just basic values. Okay, sir. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is like what is the blood pressure here or there? Some such question may be there, but there, there will, okay. there, there. Yeah, yeah. There, there is no mathematics involved in that. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. And thank you so much, sir. And the subject was very useful. and your uh, patience and your guidance thank you so much yeah thanks vignesh thanks i'm happy that you like the course thanks once again to you thank you sir thank you good evening sir i'm student of uh, uh, b farm second year This physiology helped me to. Oh sure. Uh, this is uh, Neha Neha Bansal. Neha Bansal. Hello, Neha Bansal. Good to have your questions. Your question is: I am a student of B Farm second year, and this physiology uh, will. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Uh, the physiology, the pharmacology. Physiology is the basis for pharma pharmacology. It's only when something goes wrong in your physiology that you take drugs to set the physiology right. and the action of the drugs is the that's the science of pharmacology okay if you remember even in your course on um, in physiology when we talked about the heart we were talking about agents like uh, captopril or agents like uh, propranolol so we we talked about those drugs and that's pharmacology but you can't really understand uh, pharmacology unless you have good grasp of physiology so you need to know physiology you need to know what can go wrong then you you learn about the drugs you find out how the drugs uh, can act on the physiological processes 
and then uh, you can understand uh, right from physiology to pharmacology you can understand so so in a, in in nutshell physiology is the basis for pharmacology Yes, uh, yes, sir. Beta blockers topic was really helpful to me in my yeah, absolutely sure, absolutely sure, yeah, yeah. And if you remember, we also talked about uh, ACE ACE blockers. If you remember, angiotensin converting enzyme, you may recall that lecture. Uh, yes, sir. Even muscarinic receptors also we studied before and it was really helpful in my classes also. Okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Yes, it's almost everything is relatable. Absolutely. I'm studying the drugs and in physiology, I'm studying what uh, our body is doing and uh, then I'm studying what drug I have to study if it goes wrong. Absolutely. It's all relatable. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you know, so what you can do as a student of pharmacology, you must try try to find out what is the site of action of the drug. Yes, sir, we do that. Okay. Receptors. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yes, we have different categories. Like uh, now we are working on anti-Parkinson, anti-leptics, anti-epileptics, those good. kinds of drugs. Right, right, right. Very good, very good. Uh, good. And also keep an eye on the pharmacodynamics. Okay, the the how the how the drug is broken down. Okay, and, okay. Yeah. yes, sir. And uh, we have studied that uh, NK and N a positive K positive pumps. And uh, in pharmacology, we are studying that which drug is acting on that pumps. Right. We have uh, different varieties of K and a positive K pumps in heart and uh, in kidney. Uh, different different pumps we have. Okay. And sure. uh, the drug is working different on heart pumps for arrhythmia or uh, hypertension. Yes, yes, yes. Just, just, uh, just find out once again as to what you can do. You can take the name of the drug, then exactly find out what it does, where it does, and what is the final effect. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can actually make a table for yourself, okay? And and this that makes it easy for you to remember also. So start with the drug site of action. What is the effect there? Uh, is there any toxicity associated with that? And then your concepts will become clear. Yes, the last uh, drug I studied was lithium carbonate. Uh, okay, it's acting on central nervous system? Yes, sir. Good, and good. Uh, we got to know that GABA is present on kidney also. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. You're yes, right. Sir. Yeah, yeah. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Good, good, good. And so we are doing uh, pharmacology from KD Tripathi. Uh -huh. Do you have any reviews about that? Uh, I did not follow. Who is KD Tripathi? Is that it's a book? It's a book. Uh, yes, sorry. sir. Yeah, uh, no, I have not read that book, but I have read other books in uh, pharmacology. Um, for example, uh, Lewis Pharmacology, or but that's okay. Any book that is available to you is a very good book. Yes, just read it. We are interested in fundamentals. So, yes, sir. yeah, any book is good enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, sir, when we'll get to know about our centers, actually, I have my practicals right after the uh, our uh, this physiology exam. No, I did not get. What are you interested in, uh, Neha? Uh, center. Center? City center. Oh, I have, I have no clue. I have no clue. You will have, you have to find, to find it out from NPTEL. I, I, okay. that, I have no information in that regard, uh, Neha. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nia.
Yes. Uh, sir, I was studying the use of antibodies to detect cardiac troponin in blood to diagnose heart disease. How does it work, sir? I don't know. During heart cardiac troponin is released into the blood or something. I don't know this. I need to find out. Karthik, this is an interesting question you are asking. I don't know the answer, but I need to find out. You are talking about uh, uh, troponin, studying the use of antibodies to detect cardiac troponin in blood. I don't know. I don't know, Karthik. My knowledge here is uh, rather inadequate. During heart cardiac troponin, I don't know which, why why troponin would be released sir, into... Good evening, sir. sir, actually, it, it uh, it's... Like we studied it for uh, um, detecting heart diseases or some uh, myocardial infection or something. When okay. Okay. so, we are basically using antibodies against this cardiac troponin, which usually shouldn't be found in the blood, but yeah. in this case, it is being found. So, is there something like uh, during heart attack, there is some injury or the heart releases the troponin into the blood? So, I was not clear regarding the principles. That's what. No, that's a very interesting question. I also need to read it. I also, no, but, but I can tell you, you see, the use of antibodies to detect cardiac troponin in the blood. Uh, you see, the, the, if, you, if you want to, you, you see, you can, always you can always use the antibodies against any specific protein or any other, any specific molecule to detect. So, uh, so uh, what I, I don't know the answer, but I'm trying to make a guess. My guess is, my guess is that... Uh, uh, troponin should normally not be there in the blood, but uh, if the uh, if the if, if there are any any pathological conditions, uh, uh, maybe I am not sure. No? Okay, I have to read. Uh, the possibility uh, maybe from what 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 appears to me from your question that troponin may be released into the blood, and if it is released in the blood, of course you can detect them with the antibodies. So I I presume that uh, detecting uh, troponin. Detecting troponin in the blood using antibodies may be a easy and a straightforward way to know that troponin is there. And if the troponin is there, then you may be able to uh, diagnose your diagnose the the pathological condition or diagnose uh, what is pathologically wrong with your heart. Are you are you getting my point here, Karthik? Yes, sir. So I just wanted to know that the physiology behind this, like how. Uh the injury to heart or like these conditions uh, lead to troponin being released into the blood. So I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, Karthik, but I can, uh, now that you have mentioned the topic, I would like to read and maybe I'll, uh, and maybe I'll able to, if you can send me a mail, I'll read and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to, I have to read myself for this. Uh. Okay, sir. Sure, sure. sure. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go on internet just now and, uh, Troponin in heart disease. Wait, wait, don't go. Sure, sir. Uh, let me let me see if I can uh, fish out something from internet right now. Okay, uh, just listen to this, uh, Karthik. This is interesting. Very high levels of troponin are a sign of heart attack that occurred. Most patients who have had a heart attack have increased troponin levels within six hours. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this. After 12 hours, almost everyone who has had a heart attack will have raised levels. Troponin levels may remain high for one or two weeks in the heart attack. Okay, so that so what you are saying is absolutely correct. Um, as a result of maybe the uh, just as the just as the muscle cell release the uh, adeno uh, adeno adenosine. So I I I, I presume that whenever there is an inadequate supply of oxygen, the heart cells may release troponin, and uh, then it may serve as a marker to detect the the episode of heart attack. Thanks okay. for bringing this Frank. Thanks for bringing this up, uh, Karthik. I'll uh, I'll read more about this and maybe if you maybe I'll have an opportunity to discuss this with you. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. In meeting, talk to you afterwards.
Are Karthik, are you there? Hello, yes, Karthik. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just listen to this. It says, uh, the cardiac troponin test detects damage to the heart muscle. Troponin is a protein that appears in the blood. Of course, troponin is there in the uh, in the cardiac muscles. Uh, in the blood only when the heart muscle is damaged. So troponin is not there in the in the intact heart, as in the case of heart attack. There are other causes of elevated troponin, but the heart attack is the most common. The earlier test could not measure the low amounts of troponin normally, troponin T, etc., etc. What is troponin? Troponin is a protein that's found inside some of your muscles, including the heart muscles. It plays a critical role in cardiac muscle. Of course, troponin is there in the um, in the in the in the contraction precipitation in the in the um, molecular events during contraction. Normally, only a tiny amount of troponin can be detected in your bloodstream, but that changes if you suffer from injury to the heart. So, troponin uh, occurrence of troponin uh, in the in the blood is a marker that there is a there has been an episode of uh, heart attack. Thanks, Karthik, for bringing this up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Does he have a question? Dinesh Kumar Sharma, do you have a question, Dinesh? Sir, uh, excuse me, sir. Sure. Uh, sir, uh, question paper will be prepared from uh, your institution level only, sir, or uh, NPT level. Because in uh, NPT level, some technical errors also happen during our course. Like the uh, 11th week uh, videos, they have actually uploaded 6th week. Same. Already we have completed. So after that, many times we have uh, messaged in the feedback. After that only, they replace with the actual uh, 11th week uh, videos. So, so please ensure that uh, question paper, again, because they have asked all label image questions in uh, assignments, all throughout assignments. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. if it is <laughs> changed, na, so as you said, uh, it, question solve will be in a uh, multiple choice question and also in a word format like that. No, so, no, no, Dr. Shiv Kumar, I, I um, as far as... Examination is concerned. I'm absolutely. I assure you that there won't be any labeling questions. That's only for assignments. For the for the examination, you will have statement MCQs. That's for that's for sure. Now, as far as uh, some of the um, some of the technical things not being there, uh, is there is, is there there must they must have a system by which they can address this question, Shivani. Which question? Uh, such, such such they have such problems you know that one is lecture is not loaded or uh... no they have loaded this week week six videos for week 11 it's a technical glitch so the way we send is we label everything according to week mm -hmm. they must have done some mistake and then that's why but there must be a way of pointing out that mistake and correcting it yeah that's what they did they sent a referral and then they uploaded week 11 video because all the videos are uploaded the ppts are not that's what some of some of i don't know who said I have I have raised a query. Let's see, maybe in a day. Sir, videos now available, sir, for all eleven weeks. Only uh, PPTs are not available for tenth week and eleventh week. Okay, That's so all. okay, okay. So videos are available, right? You are your yes. problem. Your problem videos is videos available, but my uh, actually told you know, uh -huh. sixth week sixth week videos they have uh, uploaded mistakenly for eleventh week videos. It was uh -huh. four. It was. Available there. After that, we have a message and feedback like that. Then they have corrected with the 11th week. Okay. It must be some technical glitch. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Hello, are you done with the questions? Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, if uh, there is no question, means uh, we can wind up the session. We can sure, end the sure, session. Sure, sure. Yes, Thank sir. You. Uh, sir, uh, uh, week 10 and 11, uh, the content uh, lecture materials are uh, uploaded. Okay, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you because some of the students had concern. So it's, it's good to find that they have been uploaded. Yeah, good, good. Thanks, thanks. Thank you so much. Okay, sir, can I log off now? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. It was a pleasure talking to you and to the school. Thanks once again. Thank you.